Hey guys. Hey, I don't usually do this, but uh, this has become so helpful to me, I uh, thought I'd share it with you. Uh, I'm trying to get this gasket material off of these uh, heads, and uh, as you can tell here, uh, these are aluminum heads, so you don't want to use anything sharp. Um, the, uh, the material is really uh, on there pretty well, and I've, I've tried the, uh, the Permatex uh, uh, gasket remover, and that's what you see on here. It just isn't working all that great. You can see uh, it's chipping away a little bit, but uh, it just doesn't do anything. So um, I was trying to think about a, a way to, uh, to get this material off of here without using any kind of abrasive approach and uh, a razor blade or anything like that. Because they're aluminum, I didn't want to scratch them up. So I thought about using uh, a paint remover and uh, and that's what I did. I went down in my shop and uh, found this stuff, premium paint and epoxy remover, and uh, sprayed some of this into a little jar, a glass jar, used a toothbrush to apply it um, to the to the other side here, um, just to see if it would work. And uh, it's starting to to, uh, to remove it in some of these areas uh, pretty well. So you'll see here, this whole thing was, was on there. Uh, this piece here, uh, I could not get off before. <laughs> um, so you can see that it, uh, it just, it dissolves it and uh, breaks it away from the, uh, from the head. Um, look at that. So uh, thought I'd share that with you. Um, I guess you have to be a little careful with it that you don't get it on the painted surfaces and uh, Watch your, your hands and eyes and all that kind of good stuff. But I uh, thought I'd share that. Uh, I don't think it'll do anything to the aluminum. Uh, go ahead and wipe this stuff up with maybe even a damp cloth. And uh, this was uh, the best way that I knew of to be able to get it off. So hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye.